Yes! It's working! Look at this beast we have created! Oh shit, it is really hard to drive! <laughs> Hello, everybody, Grace Steel, please, and we're back with more of the Finnish Crash Test Simulator. No time for BS. Look at this bullshit! Yes! The car is customly painted, sort of? It looks like the custom paint acts as. I don't know. It acts as like a texture that goes over the normal painting. So does this mean that we have to like paint the car in primer and then this will show up fully? Either way, it's here. And you can see uh, Satan's head over there smoking a, a delectable cigar. I don't know how the Finnish feel about cigars. There's our little fox over there just kind of playing on his game in there, have you? And a lot of people ask if I'm a furry. I might as well address that. No. The thing is that I'm older than everyone else. So the problem is, is that back when I was a kid, anthrop anthropomorphic animals were just like cute little creatures. They weren't really like a lifestyle. Not that I have a problem with that. Realistically, I'm pretty, I'm pretty damn accepting of everyone. I'm really laid back, so it really doesn't matter. As long as you're not a jackass, I'll pretty much get along with everyone. There's a lot of beer and sausage over here. I feel really bad if we don't grab this. Other update stuff real quick while I kind of get things into the car, which will not stay inside the car because there's no back seat and it's going to end up flying everywhere. But who cares? It's finished sausage. It deserves to be at least somewhere. Oh, hold on. There we go. I think someone had mentioned I didn't even drink one beer last episode. I was really busy, though. I was busy busting the car apart. So real quick. I've had a lot of people ask me if there was like a place that they could send stuff to. It was really cool. Like someone wanted to send me like the Polish flag and I think someone wanted to send me like some Finnish sausages or something. I really don't know how those will keep in the mail, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I'd love, to <laughs> I'd love to have them. So I now have a mailbox. Yay, I'm so professional. Also, you'll notice that the beautiful and long time like 480p intro is gone and has been replaced with a beautiful, lustrous 1080p intro. That intro was made by me. Uh, so, well, I shouldn't say that. It is a, it is a template from some guy that left the template and then I modified the hell out of it. I changed all the colors and the emblems and stuff like that. So, the little animations and stuff were already made. But I had to make something because you guys are right. Uh, the, the, the original intro was fine. But I think it's probably, oh my god, all this is gonna go flying out, <laughs> whatever. But I think that, that it was time to come up with something a little bit cleaner, at least until I can find a pro to make one for me. And I don't know any pros offhand, I asked on Twitter, no one really knew. So, eventually I'll find one, don't worry. So that, uh, so that it doesn't look like I'm just some pleb playing video games, even though that's really all I am. So since I don't have a sauna, I have to talk about my plans here. You guys had made several suggestions, and I want to go ahead and try uh, at least all of the ones I can remember off the top of my head. Someone said, take the wheels off the rear because it's front wheel drive, and, and see if it'll just drive with just the two front wheels. That sounds awesome. Let's do that. Someone else said, unbolt the steering wheel. Curious what would happen when we start going with an unbolted steering wheel. We're going to do that as well. And then on top of that... What I am going to do is do a little bit of painting on the car to see if we can... Oh, and you know what? I'm going to put the the doors and the hood back on so that we can get the full effect of, like, the custom paint jobs because it really loses a lot of the coolness to, like, be missing most of the car. All right, let's get... Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Before we go anywhere else, hold on. Someone said if you punch these guys, money flies out. Does it now? All right, buddy. What do you got in your pockets? Cough it up! Whoop what? Alright, apparently I wasn't anywhere near close enough. I hate punching people. You gotta- I don't want to get too close, because if you get too close, then you like knock them out just from walking into a- Whoop what? Son of a bitch! How close do you have to be to these freaking people? Alright, how about this? It's not working! Why is it not working? How about this side? Really? Really? Now I'm just thirsty. That's all that happened. Alright, hold on. Let me get in this guy's lap. How about that? There we go. We are legitimately inside of this man now. Oh, that sounds terrible. Whoop wah! Okay, nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. I'm just really, really thirsty now. So now I have to drink a whole bunch of beers. Yeah. So if you want to uh, get your thirst up epically fast, all you gotta do is just punch a bunch of NPCs. Well, fail punching them. 
And man, the thirst goes flying. All right, so now that we're a little bit tipsy, we're on our way. Oh, I figure I would ask to any of my, any of my Finnish beer drinking fellows, how many beers does it usually take to get you wobbly? For everyone, it's usually a little bit different than others. People ask me if I drink a lot of beer. I really don't. I'm more of a bourbon man. Bourbon and vodka, mostly. Not all the time, though. I'm not a drunk or anything like that. I just drink very, very socially. Very socially. As in, not very much. All right, Grandma. Get out of the way. Gray still plays, has places to go and things to do. Oh, son of a bitch. You're gonna... You know, it almost feels like one of those instances where, you know when you go to pass someone and then they purposefully speed up just so you can't pass them? Just to be a dick? That's kind of what it feels like. I wonder if all the sausage and beer is still back there. Well, the beer is at the at the least. Oh, God. Every time I look off the freaking roadway, things go all haywire. Oh, and last time I was like, I was like, yeah, so this episode's gonna be a little bit shorter than usual. I think I said I think the episode was gonna be a little bit shorter. And a bunch of people were like, 10 minutes longer than normal. Yeah, I know. That's how it goes sometimes. I gotta tell you what, man. The recording and editing process of YouTubing is really, really, like, unpredictable. What I mean by that is you play some games and I try and cut out all of the meaningless crap or fill it with me talking about meaningless crap. Anyway, the point is, is that there's a lot of footage that I play that doesn't get into the final cut. So I usually end up with like an hour and 15 minutes of footage, right? And that's gonna create anywhere between like 20 and 30 minutes of usable stuff that I video. And a lot of people are like, Use the whole thing, don't cut any of it out. Trust me, you'll get bored. Or at least I hope you would get bored. How long can a man sit there and watch me fuel a car? That's no fun. All right, first things first, the doors in the hood have to go on, but look at this bullshit. Look at this. The doors look like they're unpainted. So if you don't have your doors on the car when you paint it, does that mean that you don't get the paint job? Huh. I didn't know that. That's quite interesting. I wonder if I can put this door on backwards. I sure can. Oh, don't you do it, door. Door's kind of on. Oh, 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 oh. Don't you fall on me, door. Don't you freaking fall on me. What is the door's problem? This door has a real issue going into the car. Okay. See, it doesn't, it doesn't want to go on. There we go. I was gonna say, it doesn't want to go on in the normal way. It wants to be all jacked up. You have to put it on backwards to make it work. We're gonna need a size 10 for this. Now, I do believe, with my powers of x-ray vision, that I know where most of these bolts are. And there's four of them, I do believe. Uh, there should be. When in doubt, obviously you can always use the finish headbutt. Someone, I had someone ask how to use the finish headbutt. It's the Q button. At least for me it is. That allows you to slam your head through any solid object in Finland and completely disregard any potential physics, mass, or other scientific objects. Where's all their fucking, where's all their screw? See, this is where the Finnish headbutt comes in handy. There it is, I can see it, I just can't grab it. Oh, oh, there we go. Finnish headbutt all day, Finnish headbutt for life. Another door here, let's go ahead and throw this one on completely backwards because that usually works very well. Man, it works every time, it blows my mind. I have more trouble with these freaking things when I put them on the right way. Where the hell, there we go. All right, and then I think it's six millimeter screws for the hood, don't quote me on that, I'm trying to go by memory here, but I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see here, I'm sure if we just throw this thing sideways, I'll bet sideways it'll work just fine. Yeah, you see, you don't have to put anything on straight. Oh yeah, there we have it, right there. So while we're here, before we do anything else, let me go ahead and grab a can of spray paint. I'm really curious what happens if like we spray something. See now, the custom paint is on this car in some places, but not on here in some others. What happens if I spray paint this? Will something magical happen? No, nothing magical happens. It just turns into that color. So, let's see here. How about, this is interesting. It's almost like it just stuck on the body. Very curious. Oh, there's some special stuff up here too. Niv oh, it's the beer. 
It's the beer type on the top, along with a couple of Finnish flags. So what happens if I paint over this? Does it just disappear? Am I gonna have to figure this out later? Nothing. Hmm. Unless I missed. Hold on, let me try this one more time over here by the car body. You guys remember the last time? Oh, God! It totally disappears. Ah! My car is finished now without my doing. Well, some of it's finished. Okay, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to cheat the custom the custom color onto the car just so I can show them off from now on. I think that that's what we're gonna do. But before we do all that BS, let's go ahead and take these wheels off and see if we can get this vehicle moving with no rear wheels on it. Alrighty, rally wheels, come to me. Come to Papa Gray. This is gonna be very interesting. Uh, I know people have said the vehicle's front wheel drive so it can still get power down onto the ground. There we go. So it can still get power down onto the ground. But, uh, I don't know, man. This is gonna be tough, especially because we've got several cases of beer and sausage inside. I gotta say, the game when it comes to, like, mass and weight is very, very strange. Because certain things weigh a lot and, like, create giant problems for the game. And other things don't weigh enough. Like, you guys saw me multiple times in life doing gin ginormous flips to the freaking tanker over there. And yet, like, one case of beer inside of a car will weigh it down like a bitch. Alright, here we are. Let's go ahead and get in here. I obviously, the car will start up just fine. Alright. Well, let's put her in drive and see what happens. Actually, I guess we'll have to put it in reverse. Here we go, boys. Ready? Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Oh, this is interesting. Yes. Yes. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, man. It, it drives a little bit, but it's stalling. Hold on. Let me see if I can get a little bit further here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, it doesn't want to go anywhere. I'm going to give it one more shot. We'll, we'll get it in neutral. Get it real revved up. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Don't lose the RPMs. Oh, we can do donuts. Man, it is. Oh, son of a bitch. There goes the hood. Yes, we're doing it. We're doing it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Do it for gray. Do it for gray. This is it. How fast can you go with no tires? We're up to 20 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Hold on. That's what it looks like. There she goes. <laughs> There's your Grand Theft Auto cam. Oh, what? 25. Hold on. This is amazing. How fast can we get it to go? Yes, it's working. Look at this beast we have created. Oh shit, it is really hard to drive. Ooh. <laughs> We're still driving. We're still driving. <laughs> shit. Do, 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 do. I gotta tell you something. You guys need to know this right now. This song haunts me in my sleep. I know you guys don't know. <laughs> I hear this, I hum this song in the shower because of how much I've had to hear it. What do the lyrics in this song say? Listen to these lyrics right now, guys, and tell me what they mean. <laughs> All right, so via the power of Finnish stubbornness, we managed to get the car up to like, what was that, like 40 kilometers per hour? That was pretty damn good. Let's go ahead now and take the steering wheel off. Well, not let's not take it off. Let's just kind of unbolt it. I don't know. Someone had said just kind of like unbolt it and see if it stays on. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Okay. So it stays on now. Oh, well, hold on. Let me just go back in here and see if we can drive it. So let's see now if we can drive it at all or if it'll just like come off in our hands. Go ahead and start things off here. All right. Car starts just fine, and into reverse. Oh, oh, I can't even use the steering wheel. Okay, I, I can't even turn it. I didn't realize that. So that's interesting. So if I go ahead and tighten this on real fast, uh, am I allowed to turn it now? 
Huh. This is curious. I can't turn it right now either. Hold on. Very... No, I can't turn it all. Okay, hold on a second. Something's something's not right here. Something smells fishy about this bullshit. Hold on. Hold the phone here. All right. What? How about if I take it off, and then pick it pick it up, and then put it on backwards or whatever? There we go. It, it'll always take it. You just gotta. All right. So now we'll put it back on. And how about now? Now can I turn the steering wheel? Because nothing else should have happened. Like, it's, it's not like the steering column should have been. There we go. Okay, very interesting, huh? So you have to take it off and put it back on, and it begins to work again. All right, well, whatever. So now we've done that. Now someone else had said, take the headers off. Try driving it without the headers. Okay, I'll try and drive it without the headers. Pop this off right there. There we go. Now I can go ahead and throw these ones on. I don't want these to come off. There we have it. Okay, now we've taken the headers off. So now, oh shit, where did it go? Come here, header. There we go. Oh, thirst is getting up a little bit. That's all right, though. We happen to have plenty of beers just sitting around. No big deal. Get it on top of the old ceiling right there. Whoop. There we go. wonder how long it'll sit up there. I saw someone had sent me a picture that they had gotten up on the roof and were having all kinds of fun up there. That's pretty cool. Just kind of hanging out on the roof, having a regular old finish party. Uh, well, balls. It won't start at all now. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. How about if we throw the header on, start it up, and then take it off? Hold on, let me see if I can put this thing back on in here. All right, car started. Now let's try and pop this puppy off. Whoa! Whoa! Yes! Oh, we're getting some smoke. What does it all mean, boys? Oh, yeah, purrs like a kitten. Let me get in here and see if this thing will drive. Someone had said what'll happen if you leave the headers off. I don't know, though. I'm not much of a car guy. You go ahead and throw it in. Oh, shit. Hold on. Still starts. Still starts. Yeah! Let's get some freaking RPMs revving up in here. Whoa! Kind of went the wrong way there, no big deal. All right. So let's drive around a little bit with no header. Son of a bitch. Let's drive around a little bit with no headers and find out exactly what happens. Well, it's loud. I'll tell you that. Man, it is like really loud. People have asked why I don't play without a muffler because it gets loud. I mean, this is loud. I don't know. I don't know how well it will translate to YouTube. In fact, I may bring the audio down a little bit in the game, but for me, it's like blasting in my ears. It is very loud right now. Car's still running though. Should this be happening? Should this car still be running with no headers? Someone let me know. I know there's there's always one person out there who's like, Gray, how could you not know what would happen when you run a car without headers? I don't know. I've never had to run a car without headers. Son of a bitch. What was that? How come we ended up freaking flying around? I'm not a car guy first off, but I'm also not someone who ever said to myself, man, you know what would be great? If I ripped the headers off of my car to see what would happen when I drive down to the grocery store. All right, boys, let's bring it out to the highway and see what happens. Should something more impressive be happening than just the vehicle sounding really loud? The vehicle sounds really loud. And that's pretty much it. All right, let's go here. Let's go ahead and get... Why is this door coming open? There we go. All right, let's get this thing going. See how fast we can go. I will say, it seems like the car is driving worse, if that makes any sense. Like, it's harder to harder to, steal, to steer with the headers off. Still doing just fine, though. Going 140 kilometers per hour here. Man, it doesn't look like we lost any power or anything. Got plenty of smoke pouring out of it, but that's about it. I don't know, man. Uh, oh shit. I don't wanna look that way. Yeah, we have all the speed that we had before. All of the speed. We may even have more speed. Oh, wow! Look at that needle topping out there. Okay, so yeah. I mean, without the headers, working just fine. I don't really know what, I, I, I don't know, maybe like after a while something will happen. I'm gonna go as fast as we can and see how long it takes me to explode. 
Someone said, uh, do the 220 kilometer per hour challenge or something like that. Well, here you go. You can consider this that. I'm gonna stay on the accelerator and not touch the brake for as long as humanly possible. Let's see here, we're still doing really good. Even inside of these turns here. Oh yeah, all that rally driving, man. Oh, there's the thump thump car. Whoa, man, if we got into a head-on collision, I don't even know what would happen. Let's see how fast I can get around this map. Doing just fine. In fact, you know what? I think the car runs better without the headers. It's just undue weight. Why even have headers on your car? <laughs> oh, Gray's starting to lose it. Gray's starting to lose it around the big turns, boys. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a good hit. All right, well, that went well. And then finally someone said, Gray, drive the car into the lake. Sure. That sounds great. Sounds like a wonderful idea. I can tell how much everyone loves me. Hey, Gray, I got I got something for you. Why don't you take your car, throw it in fucking drive, and drive it right to the leg. You know what? I'll do just that. I'll do just that, damn it. Whoa. A little bit of a burnout there. Oh, someone said do a burnout, too. So there you go. Wait, is that technically a burnout, or did I just peel out? All right, boys. Well, there's no better way to end the episode than this, right? Here we fucking go! Yeah! Oh! This is. This is interesting. We're. We're driving. We're driving under the water. And everything's fine. Yeah, let me close the doors here. No big deal. Uh. Uh, this is, this is very strange. Okay, so I'm not a car guy, right? I mean, all you guys know that. I have a feeling, though, that this wouldn't happen in real life. I don't think that you should be able to operate your motor vehicle at the bottom of a lake. This does not seem realistic. I wonder if this is faster. I wonder if this is faster getting to town than using the boat. I will say it's very difficult to turn, but it can be done if you notice. Watch this. Look, I can turn just barely. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to see something. I got I got to see something. Well, damn. Look at that shit. We're driving. We're just floating and driving underwater. Not going very fast. I don't know how fast we're going. Maybe like, I don't know. 20 kilometers per hour? Maybe? Maybe 30? I wonder where we end up at. Can we get all the way to the other side of the lake? Hold on, hold on. This is gonna be, a, this, is gonna, this is a good shot here. Come on, camera, there we go. Yes, a nice picture of the vehicle driving underneath the lake. Lovely. Apparently I missed a bunch of pistons and stuff last time. I'll go ahead and comment on that real quick. Apparently I missed a bunch of pistons and stuff. This is the biggest, this is the longest set of freaking tire marks ever. I missed a bunch of uh, pistons and stuff that I blew out last time. Someone got really obsessed about it too. They were really angry. They were like, how could you miss the pistons? You passed them twice, you motherfucker. And I was like, in my head, I was like, eh, it's because I really didn't care that much. <laughs> no, it's, oh. Whoa! Uh-oh! Hold on, hold on. Something's going on here with the car. Is it? Is it because the engine is finally flooding? Oh, it's because we're running too hot. Hold on. Shit. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my thought real quick. I was gonna say... No, it's usually because I make these videos at like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning and I don't sleep at all. So while you guys may be watching your videos peeing in the bathroom or uh, in the middle of class, as some people have mentioned, I really appreciate that you like the video so much that you watch it in class. Yes, the car starts under the water. But, uh, oh shit, we're not moving anymore. Oh, got a case of beer there. But, uh, no, I'm not always in the best frame of mind to, uh, to be uh 
to be finding things and being all... Hold on, what happens if I get out of this? Will it float to the bot? Will it float to the top? No. So how do I go down? Like, I'm like... Hold on, can I move in the water? This is curious. I've never tried to do this before. Um... Oh, I'm kind of floating up. I don't, I don't want to float up. No, car! Don't leave me! Don't leave me, shit! Well... Damn it! I'm kind of... Oh, I can't actually get anywhere. Like, I can't swim or anything. I can sprint under the water, but I can't seem to go up with the jump key. I can't seem to go down with the crouch key, which is normally what you would do. All right! So this is a fine time to end things off. So, car works just fine underwater. Drives for a little bit, too. Couldn't get all the way across late, but what the hell we tried. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of My Summer Car Stress Tests, I guess. If you have any additional things that you want to see me do to this car to see what the ramifications will be, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.